The road to creating a successful business will always be rough. It's filled with bumps, forks, and unexpected detours. It might take you years to be a successful business owner, or even decades at some points. If you're starting your own business now, and are in dire need of advice, well you're in the right video. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. For this video, we will list 10 of the best business advice we wish we could have had when we got started. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss any of our videos. Without any further ado, let's hop right into the video. Number 1. Running the business is always the top priority. One of the biggest misconceptions about starting your business is the fact that you'll only be focused on chasing your passion, whether that be cooking, creating your best coffee, handmade jewelry, or more. But to tell the truth, you'll need to spend most of your time developing business strategies, marketing, selling, interacting with customers, and doing the most boring administrative tasks like bookkeeping, invoicing, and payroll. And the more you maintain your business, the better in the long run. Number two, it's about helping others, not turning a profit. Perhaps your number one goal is returning your investment in a snap of a finger and profiting out of every possible move you make. Your focus should be on helping your customers solve a problem or make their lives better. Once you realize that it's not about you or how much money you're bringing in, it will attract more customers. And when you have more customers, the more income you'll generate. Number three, the importance of cash flow management. Running a business, whether that be small or not, is not just about making 15% from your capital. You need to consider cash flow as a lifeblood of your business. The most effective way of managing your cash flow is by creating a budget and sticking to every expense so that you know exactly where your money is going. Number four, the odds are stacked against you, and that's all right. You've probably heard the phrase, most businesses are going to fail, and while it's true, you need to have a solid mindset on this one. Remember that you should consider doing something like keeping your current day job for as long as you can. Even if your business fails, it's not the end of the world. From your mistake, you've gained new skills, experiences, and learned new lessons that can help you come back stronger. Number five, it's lonely. If you think that this is just like your day job where you can have a sense of community since you and your coworkers work all together, then you're wrong. In creating a business, it's just you and you alone. As a matter of fact, every decision and responsibility fall on your shoulders, and that's a heavy, lonesome burden. The best thing to do is probably find a business partner that can help you with the business. If you're not ready for that, find someone who are going through the same experience as you. Number six, activity doesn't equal growth. You need to have a solid definition of what growth is. Do you think that it is about new innovative features that you've just added to your product or something else? Growth means that you're building a product and adding customers, that's it. Number seven, a part-time gig gives you peace of mind. Successful business doesn't happen overnight. It might take time. There will come a time that money will be a huge problem, so it's better to have a second gig like freelancing or anything that pays you well. This will release you from some financial stress that you are not that distracted. Number eight, optimize, outsource, and automate whatever you can. The truth is, businesses can't really function if one is only running it. A better suggestion would be hiring freelance writers, accountants, or graphic designers so that there is no shortage of tools. Your time would be better spent doing tasks that you are capable of handling. Number nine, engage with your audience. Engaging with your audience is probably the most crucial in this list. Instead of hiding in an office and never interacting with your customers, respond personally to comments left on forums, social media posts, review sites, and emails. This will give you a better insight on what your customers are actually looking for. Number 10, don't forget to have fun. Despite all the stress you can have from creating a business, it makes you enjoy life so that you can stay sane. This will help you realign with your core and come up with new and fresh ideas to solve problems. Just like any other device, you have batteries too, and you need to recharge when you're drained. Simply put, don't work yourself to death. Your business, family, and friends need you. Priorities are a huge job of creating a business. You have to be extremely certain of where you want your specific task done and when. For example, where do family and friends play into it? And where does business sit in your list of priorities? What do you think of our list? Are these pieces of advice something you would use in your business model? Let us know in the comment section down below. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next video.